right, so this is a very cute six-week-old male who is presenting today with a chief complaint of vomiting. Um, the baby was in his usual state of health, according to his mom, until this past week um, and when he started to spit up after every feeding. His mom describes the vomit as looking like milk. Uh, sometimes it's curled, but it's never green or bloody. Um, mom says it makes a big mess every time he spits up. Uh, she is breastfeeding and pumping, um, and sometimes gives him pumped breast milk in a bottle. Uh, but she did give him some formula last Tuesday, so this past Tuesday. Uh, she thinks that she gave him about five ounces of Infamil, uh, as far as the formula is concerned. So normally the baby breastfeeds for about uh, ten minutes on each side, approximately every two hours. Um, the baby is having about five wet diapers a day, and he has two non-bloody stools in a typical day. So I asked about dietary history, and she said the baby takes breast milk uh, in addition to the formula last Tuesday that I mentioned. Uh, developmentally, um, he smiled last week. Uh, he tracks objects to midline. Um, he's able to lift his head while he's prone. Um, in terms of sleeping, his mom said he's sleeping on his back in a crib. Um, she says he's not taking any me medications, and he doesn't have any allergies that she's aware of. So uh, on review of systems, Basically, he denied any fever, cough, there was no runny nose, um, no eye discharge, no ear pain, no neck stiffness, no difficulty breathing, uh, said no sweating, no diarrhea, didn't have any problems with urination, no problems with sleep, and no rashes. Um, in terms of family history, so what I got from the mom was that the grandmother has hypertension, uh, grandfather has type 2 diabetes, um, has a, I think, a cousin that has Tourette's, um, Tourette's syndrome, and then also, like, maternal great uncle uh, had lung cancer. Uh, as, far as, as far as social history, it's kind of interesting. So, mom and dad are both from Nicaragua. Nicaragua. Uh, it's pretty cool. I've never met anybody from Nicaragua. Um, but, baby lives with mom and dad. Um, the dad's an engineer. Uh, mom used to teach school before uh, she had the baby, but right now she's on maternity leave. Um, she plans to pump the breast milk and then go back to work in a couple of months after the baby grows up a bit. Um, nobody smokes at home and they don't have any pets. So on physical exam, uh, the baby was alert. Uh, and he was crying a little bit, but consolable. Uh, temperature was 37, heart rate 110, respiratory rate of 40. Um, the weight and length were about the 40th percentile. Um, on, on the uh, head and neck exam, so the lips seemed a little bit dry. Um, the checked red reflex was present in both eyes. Um, I didn't check the ears just yet. Uh, neck was supple, chest was clear. Um, so on cardiac exam, they had regular S1, S2, uh, no murmurs. Uh, femoral pulses were both uh, two plus, so on each side. Uh, the abdomen had normal bowel sounds and didn't appreciate any masses or uh, hepatosplenomegaly. Uh, the GU exam was normal, uh, hips were stable, and the spine was straight. For the uh, assessment and plan, my assessment is that this is a baby with vomiting. Um, so the differential diagnosis for vomiting is uh, pretty broad in a, in a baby this age. Includes things like um, a malrotation or volvulus, um, it could be UTI, pyloric stenosis is a possibility. I um, have to consider uh, an infectious etiology, you know, something uh, viral or bacterial. Um, think about uh, gastroesophageal reflux uh, in a baby this age. Also, his mom mentioned he had formula. You have to think about formula intolerance if there's something in there that he's not uh, tolerating well. So, where this leaves us is that um, as far as what the next step is, we could do a KUV uh, to look for volvulus or an ultrasound uh, to look for pyloric stenosis, maybe, uh, or for the infectious causes, um, like a stool culture or urine culture, uh, or maybe, uh, do we do uh, eosinophil test for, uh, stool eosinophil test for allergy?